Guess what? I did this! <laughs> I'm back today with another upcycle and I'm very nervous. You know what they say, if you're not nervous, you're not doing it right, right? Anyway, I asked you guys on my Instagram what you would want to see for like a springy little upcycle and saw a lot of you say like reformation inspired designs and I am totally into that. I love love their brand and it's like just so popular now i'm gonna do my best just gonna do my best because that's all that i can do <laughs> let me show you the fabric that i have it's the best it's the best first of all to preface the fabric that i got um i went to my local like so it's like a second hand art supply shop it it's so freaking awesome. I love these types of shops. I could spend hours in there. But my local one was called Indigo Hippo and it's downtown Cincinnati. And it's just so cool because their shop is like pay what you can. I mean, they have everything. They literally, they have jars, like crayons, paper of all kind, books, fabric, yarn, like they have everything. And it's just, they're the best shop. So if you have one in your city, like check those things out. They are so useful. I have found so many things. Um, here's the fabric that I got. Isn't this so spring reformation-esque? Love it so much. <sighs> okay, let's... Let's all just say a little prayer. So I hope that I can do this. I want to do something like this. And this is like the typical reformation design. And what I'm nervous about is the bodice. Huh. And I, okay, I want to challenge myself to do this one because I think this fabric will, it will look really good in this design. One, like the, the pattern, but the, the fabric itself is kind of stiff. It's kind of has a more st structured, uh, anyway. I already have a bodice pattern that I made. My bodice pattern. I will link the link that I used to make this below. Okay, hi. My camera just died and I just freaked out for a little bit. But you know what? I'm motivated now. The sun is out. Everything's fine. Let's get hype. I just wish you were here to like kiss me on the cheek or like pat me on the back and, and everything's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. What I'm gonna do is drape some tester fabric, aka muslin, on this bra that I have that fits me really well. And then I'm gonna fit the bottom underneath the cups using my bodice pattern. Yeah? Okay, this is what that looks like and you know what I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it I think it it lay it's laying really nicely and that's what I want So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace all around it and then I'm gonna cut it out I just trace that I trace the dart to all along the edges of where those pins were and then I just cut it out Sorry, it's so wrinkly <laughs> And then I'm just gonna fold it in half and cut out the other side so I can get a symmetrical, symmetrical piece. Okay, so here's, here is what I ended up with. I have the two cups, they're a little bit oversized so I could have some seam allowance there and room. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I've laid them on top, I've sewn the darts in. I'm gonna lay my bra on top just to see that they are a good width apart right here. Um, yeah, looks good. 
I'm gonna pin those two in place on the bottom of the cups here, right sides together. It's day two. Surprised? I'm not. But guess what? I did this! <laughs> I did that, I did that and no tears were shed. Can you believe it? Not really, it's hard to believe. I'm gonna tell you how I did that. And hopefully the other side will be symmetrical. Got the goods, got the goods. Okay, let me. All right, so here's what I, yeah, I am not tan at all. Here's what I did. Here's my other piece that I cut out. What I did was I added that dart in. Did I ever talk about the dart? Just a tiny little one there, just at the bottom of the cup. And then basically what I did was I just, you know what, it's it's not that simple. Let me, let me show you how I did it, not tell you. <laughs> this is sick. This is what the inside of the other one looks like. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it definitely fits me nicely, so I'm not complaining. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. First step is this has some seam allowance, so I put it a little bit lower and I'm just literally tracing that with a pencil. Once you've repinned that three times off camera in order to get it perfect. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Go ahead and sew that down right sides together. Bodice, done. Decent. Next step is I'm gonna cut out just like a little rectangle of fabric that is this width right here, probably a little longer because you know, seam allowance, that's a thing. That's gonna be the back. And then I'm going to move on to the skirt. For the skirt, listen up. It's super easy. Hello. Let's do this. What you're gonna want is your waist measurement. Divide that in half. Your biggest hip measurement, divide that in half. I also forgot to say length. The length that you want from your waist to have your long that you want it to be. Those are the measurements that you want. This is how you do the skirt. So you're gonna fold your fabric in half. Then you're gonna put your halved hip measurement in the middle of the skirt. Measure upwards towards your belly button so you have the right distance away lengthwise. And then you're gonna put your halved waist measurement right there. And then just go ahead and draw from your hip a slight diagonal outwards to make it an A-line skirt, however long that you measured. Make sure to add seam mounts on both of the sides, then cut that out. You should have two symmetrical pieces. That's it. Man, I am, I'm really enjoying this right now. I'm pretty proud of myself. I think it looks really good. I forgot to tell you, I put two really, 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 really tiny darts just to give this look of like sort of boning, I guess. Forgot to tell you, I'm sorry. What I did with the little rectangular piece that I just cut was I literally just sewed it to both of the side seams of the front and then I just cut it down the middle. So I'm gonna do a zipper there going down through the skirt because I want the skirt to be pretty form fitting. I have the skirt right here as well. All I did was just sew both the side seams together and then I just cut a little slit here for the zipper. Now, here's my big question. I have three zipper choices here. We have number one, number two, and number three. This one I think I'm gonna go with so that's decided. What I'm gonna do next is sew the skirt to the waistline here, and then I'm gonna go from there, fitting it to myself when I put the zipper in the back. You know what I mean? Pretty good. I'm gonna sew in the zipper. The zipper. Very fun. Woo! We're dealing with some buckling, which I, I don't wanna talk about. 
But right now I'm gonna try and fix that a little bit. So I made two darts on the skirt here earlier and I'm just kind of bringing them up here and deepening them a little bit. Hello. It is now day 59 of this project. Last night, I had some issues with the zipper and I underestimated those issues because the buckling was super bad. It just looks really awful. And so I went on Instagram and asked for you guys' help and thank you so much. Like you guys are amazing. And I just got so much love yesterday and great tips, so. I think what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna get an invisible zipper, which is like lighter weight. So hopefully the fabric will hold that better. And then I'm also gonna add some interfacing on either sides of the zipper. Let's just pray. Let's just pray that that works. In the meantime, I am going to make the straps. <laughs> get an invisible zipper and some interfacing right now. First things first though, guac for lunch. Yum. This is like mainly onions. It's so good. I love onions. I'm back, got the goods. And now comes the fun part, seam ripping. Let's go. the zipper in. Let's see how it zips up. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mom. Oh my god. I have just learned so much. So much with this project. Oh my god. I'm so excited to show you. I'm just gonna finish up the straps, sew those in, and then just hem the bottom. Oh my god. I'm so glad it worked out. like my reformation-esque photo shoot I tried to like recreate their what's on their website <sighs> I'm feeling really freaking proud right now I honestly am amazed how this came out I'm so proud of myself to be honest <sighs> like my method to sewing for my entire life has just always been literally DIY like I'm gonna do it myself and I'm gonna seam rip a million times and like just do it and usually my stuff doesn't turn out this great so I'm learning so much I learned so much in this project come on if I can do it you can do it and I encourage you to I encourage you to upcycle stuff go to your local art supply thrift store they are the best and um thanks for watching